Ashton Court Tape 5 Market. Okay, so we are in Ashton Court in Bristol today, playing around with some 360 gadgets. We've got the Insta360 One, which is one of their kind of early consumer level 360 cameras. And then if you look down here, we have the Sennheiser Ambio recording a 360 sphere of sound, getting the kind of atmosphere of where I am, a little bit of my voice and my footsteps as I move around, which I will show you in a minute. And then on my chest, I have a lavalier mic or lapel mic or tie clip mic, whatever you want to call it, a radio mic, recording my voice as a mono source. So I can then bring it into software and post and manipulate it and move myself around the space. So let's give you a little bit of an example. So you should be able to hear from my voice as I move around that the kind of sound, the sound kind of is what I'm meaning to say, moves around with me. This is because I brought the video into Premiere to edit the colours and kind of fix that a little bit. And then I brought everything into Reaper where I'm using Facebook's free 360 spatial workstation to manipulate the sound and place it within the video. So what do I mean by that? Well, I can take this mono source and I can assign it to an object, in this case me, and have it track that object around the space and move the sound around with it. So if I take out the Ambio, and this is what it sounds like, just the lavalier mic, just the lapel mic, okay? So just this mono source that I've created and then started moving around the space, you should be able to leave the camera in the same place and as I walk around, you should be able to hear that sound move around your head. Now, if I take the lav out and I bring the uh, ambio back in, so like that, this is just the sound of the ambio. So you should be able to get a much greater sense of the forest around me, the woodland. Also my feet moving around the microphone because it's so close to the floor. And then also you should be able to hear my voice, but it'll be a little bit more distant just because of how far away the microphone actually is. So if I bring that all back in, we've got a much more natural sounding space. It's much more kind of immersive sound experience to add to what is really quite a simple video technique. So I'm just going to kind of go for a wander around and have a look around and I'm going to leave this camera and the Ambio running and you can just kind of move the camera around, see what you think, have a listen, see what it sounds like and looks like when you couple a ambisonic recording with a 360 video. Cool. Thanks for watching.